Hi friends, we will continue our generating our PDF documents and in this we will now learn about different shapes, rectangles, circles and various charts also, line graph, vertical graphs and uh, pie charts and all. So in this, first we will draw these uh, colorful circles one over the other, we will learn this first. This is our uh, basic template. So here we are just importing our uh, different shapes from the graphics module. So this uh, shapes we will be using. Right now we will use only circle. Subsequently we will use that. And here at line number 2 as usual it is our uh, path. In your case this may change also. And this is my file which I will be refreshing every time and updating it. Now because I am writing it. So line number 3 as we have already seen this. That uh, this library will use it. Now what I will do let me just first write it here uh, render pdf now in this draw to file because i am creating the file what is d i have not declared that's my drawing and what's my path is my path i have already sorry my path uh, already line number two and text is nothing so that's all this is what i will create and d is my drawing so what i will do i will just write it here d is my drawing board so i will say drawing and size slightly bigger i am giving 1200 sorry 1200 by 1200 so okay this is my shape so this is my basic template is ready why i am keeping this below in between I will write the code because this drawing subsequently this particular file I will not directly use to write my PDF rather a main file will be there we will call that so you can integrate various other charts paragraphs and drawings into a main file we will see that later let's first complete our circle part so this is the our basic uh, template is ready let's add the circle d dot add now what I will be adding is a circle. So I am saying I R C L E circle. Now what's where the circle will be? Now here I am saying it is 600. Why? Because I want to put it at the center. So it is 1200 by 1200 total size a square. So here the center point will be 600 by 600. So I am giving it at a 600. Now what happened? What is the radius of it? This is X Y position or uh, Okay, so horizontally or vertically. Now, what should be my radius? My radius, let's say I am giving, uh, it should be 600. Instead of that, I am giving 580. So, I am just uh, leaving some edge, 20 from the borders. So, now I will see what should be the fill color. Now, fill color is in RJB I have to give equal to, now le let me give a list. Suppose I want red value to be high, so R1. Now let me G green is zero. Now one more. So R G B. So it will be a filled with red color now. So um, that's all. Let's save this. I should get a one circle, single circle. I'm just running it. Let's see any error. No, no error. So let's refresh this and see. My color should change now. Yeah, you can see it's ready and slightly edge is there. Now I will draw another circle. So I will just copy this. But this time my circle, second circle will be lesser radius. So what happened? First I will draw an outer circle, then reduce the radius, then draw the second circle. So one over the other will come. So for that purpose, let me just give it a 600. So it is full, no edges will be there because my 1200, 1200 center is 600. So 600 will be there. Now here instead of writing 580, I will do is I will write a variable rd equal to 20. It's just radius gap in radius. Here I am writing it. This is instead of 500, I am writing 600 minus rd. Why I am doing like this is you will understand shortly. So now two circles, one is 600, another one is 580 because I am ready. Now the slightly I will change the color. Now what I will do, I will make this zero uh, blue, I will make it or I will make it is green so one here I will put zero so let's run this now two color uh, one external circle with red then one internal with a slightly reduced radius let's see how it works uh, no error let us just go here refresh this page and see okay so you can see here 
outer is red and inner is green. Now we will go for multiple circle. So we will remove this rd equal 20 and we will start with for rd in range starting from 0 it will end with 600 with a step value of 20. So inside this I will keep it but one more check I will keep. So if rd modulus or mod of uh, 40 40 equal to 0 then draw this else else you draw the next color circle okay here what i will do here also i will put minus rd what will happen now is first this will now rd will take 0 20 then 40 68 80 like that but what happens one time this 40 once it is divisible by 40 means it's the remainder is 0 then the, this circle this circle will be drawn this color circle next time this circle so alternately one color will be picked up so uh, first th if this this will be true means this if this will be true next time it will be false next time it will be true because it is a step of 20 and we are dividing it by 40 so one time only it will be true so at every uh, cycle once this uh, color will, uh, circle will be drawn next cycle this bottom one will be next cycle again this so like this it will continue let's just see it i have saved this uh, hopefully okay red and green let's create it okay no error let's come here and refresh it here it is instead of using two fixed colors let's randomize the colors so in that way we can get different different colors for that how we will will not predefined any color we'll generate some random color so for that we'll say import I'm just importing random numbers so import random now using that what I will do here inside this first let me create rgb as random numbers r is equal to random dot random now now what happen r every time it will get a random value starting from 0 till 1 so 0 0.5 0 0.6 point like that numbers will be generated now uh, instead of generating only r value i will put g and b also i am just copying and pasting so what i will do here i will say it is g it is green it is blue sorry it is blue blue so what happened three variables these are all three are every cycle this for loop every cycle of or every rotation of it r g b takes different values within the range of 0 to 1 so the float or the 0 0.4 0 0.5 point is like that it will take it now instead there is no no need for this if condition now i will simply keep a circle here it should be and this also i will remove it and here i will use the variables r g b so every time this date this variable values will take a different value so i am just using this now let's see this this file every time i run i will get a different color combination so okay no error let me go here refresh this see this uh, the all circles are of one color now let me come back here run once more okay now let's go back refresh this page what's the colors now i'll get a different set of colors this is a different set of colors so it's random there is no way it i can say predict that this particular color will be at the center or this will be at the periphery or anything it can so like that this way we can draw this color circles in fact this you can also try rect same logic you can apply to a create a rectangle also you can fill the rectangle with different color and you can try because this we are trying because finally Finally, we'll bring all together to a, in our one report uh, page. We'll create only thing is the report body will very less code. We'll keep and we'll call all these graphs, figures, charts. All these things will call from call from different different files. That we'll see next. We'll move to a chart. That's all, friend. I'll request you you practice it. And if you have any doubt, suggestion, comments, any feedbacks you want to give, use the comment section below and please post it and request you once again please subscribe to our channel and tell your friends to share this and subscribe also thank you for watching and please subscribe